Hi, Lucas here and this is my CA1 for SLFX where we had to create a uh, level based on exterior nighttime scene set in an enclosed volume. So this is the street that I chose as you can see and this is what I created in uh, Unreal. So that's how it looks and now I'm going to run it. So this is my street. As you can see I can uh, move around it. So there is some uh, stuff that we have to satisfy. So here is my light function and you can see the particle effects. I created the spar sparkles for it. Then for level of detail, as you can see there is a simple mesh and if I get closer it's uh, more complicated. Uh, also I will go over all of the materials after I uh, run through the demo of my street. Then there is a material that uh, if I get closer to the camera it's uh, uh, the distance dependent normal and uh, normal and uh, uh, the, the texture mapping so as you can see it's changing the material is changing diffuse diffuse and normal so as you can see as I got closer it is changing then there is the bump mapping on the floor and I will go through the materials as well just walking down here. I use the vertex painting for the barrels. As you can see different materials applied through the vertex painting also onto the flower pots. Then I use my decals here as you can see uh, and you can see the wall coming, coming through the decal there. Then I walk around al along the street and as you can see I was trying to recreate lighting as close to the image as I could and there is the church and uh, the the sky looks pretty close and it was like a little bit cloudy there so now I'm going to run through the materials one by one so I just move this side um, so first of all I start with the distance dependent normal mapping so if I go to my materials non-instance one and I have a um, distance dependent normal mapping so if I click on this um, yeah distance dependent floor right here so I bring it over here and as you can see there I have a camera position and a world position and basically if I just come here I'm just lurping between the two textures and uh, two normal maps uh, which is changing on a on a distance of the camera and it's clamped between 0 and 1 and that is going to base color, a base color and a normal. Next one is uh, UV and diffuse normal packing so I have my uh, floor here and if I click on it I, I can show you that I have four textures in a one texture basically for different pictures and if I one I can change it so what is he doing I give a credit to Robert he, he I basically uh, ask him for help because he already figured it out and I just improved it a little bit um, so I have a uh, how many frames I have I split my texture coordinates on uh, R and G which is X and Y Robert had just uh, the linear one and I made the uh, the square one so I had to split it between uh, R and G which is X and Y then I have how many frames in each and the target frame that I want so if I change let's say this target frame from 2 to 1 and as you can see the texture just changed so I change it back to 2 and that is the different texture of course I can change the bottom one as well and that feeds into the normal map also diffuse and uh, I use it for a specular lighting as well. Next one is uh, decal mapping so for my decals I run to the decal material and as you can see uh, what I'm using for it um, I'm, I'm running it into emissive color so it looks a little bit like a globy, globy painting on the wall and I inverted the colors which makes it look like a bluish and uh, I just played with it a little bit. 
next one I will have uh, opacity mapping so for my opacity uh, if I minimize this I run the game real fast here so you can see it in the game as well as you can see there is a gate and you can see the door through it so it's mapped opacity and the material is uh, right here opacity doors and what I did was basically had a texture I uh, because it was already black and white I didn't need to store opacity in alpha I just inverted the channels and I got this nice uh, black which is invisible and white which is visible on the texture and I just run it into the opacity mask next one is uh, a normal painting so for the normal painting I used uh, uh, this texture I just run to the normal and as you can see I painted the contours of the tiles here uh, with a kind of like a kind of like a greenish and a purple and like a pink and that gave it a, a, a look of being indented but depending on which side I turn the cube uh, which side is coming light this one looks uh, correct one as you can see there is the dark areas there is the light areas next for the vertex painting I use this one which is um, if I grab this texture right here of this barrel wood painting it, it's already instanced so I just show you that I used between these two woods and the two normal textures and then I uh, change as a UNV tile so it looks natural and the texture itself I was using the this one wall with painting which is just uh, again lurping between the uh, two values based on opacity and the vertex color for my parallax mapping here is my material and all it just uh, all it does is apply bomb offset to the normal and the uh, texture sample I rotated a little bit as well as you can see the rotation on the wall oh, oh, sorry on the floor right here um, for my instances as you can see there is my all of my content and materials and I have a non instance material so all of the materials that I used in my level all of the different walls and everything was just derived from these this ones that I have right here and then I have uh, instance materials and they're sorted on the doors uh, floors and uh, walls as you can see there is a, a few different walls and I put the roof tiles there as well so that's my instance materials next is for a level of detail if I click on this table that is changing as I'm coming close to it I open it and as you can see there is uh, two tables right there and one is level of detail 0 second is level of detail 1 and as you can see the, the more complicated has about 13,000 words and uh, the one simple I made was 120 words and it changes based on uh, how much percentage uh, it, it is showing on the screen so uh, that would be for level of detail for my particles and for my particle effects I used it right here as you can see my particles is like a sparks um, I adjusted these particles because they were coming and they were falling like far far behind so I just adjusted the lifespan and it shortened the lifespan and it, uh, it look, looked more like a spark um, so that 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 should be all that I created in this level and uh, also for the volumes that uh, are enclosing for the light volumes one is right here and second is over the church uh, for my night sky as you can see it's uh, trying to reproduce it from the picture and uh, the clouds was really like not really visible on the picture so I just make them kind of more opaque and that kind of captured the atmosphere so um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, good night see ya